Let's see which one wins. Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope everybody out there is doing well. Times are a little strange right now, so uh, I'm with you, and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna keep doing stuff to hopefully keep us uh, occupied, entertained, whatever, through these crazy times. So, in this video, we're comparing the Mevo, the PRGR, Swing Caddy SC300, and the Skytrack kind of give you a rundown pros and cons of all of them see which one performs the best uh, so please make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss anything that comes out let me tell you a little bit about each one of these real quick come on okay the monitors the launch monitors that we are comparing today are going to be these first is going to be uh, PRGR new launch monitor, the pocket launch monitor. This uses a uh, Doppler radar technology. You just set this on the ground. Distance isn't so critical with this. We've got uh, swing speed, we've got ball speed, and we've got carry distance. It also does total distance. And you can also look at your smash factor number as well just by hitting the mode button. Pretty basic, pretty simple to use, throw it down What's great about this feature that this has that the others do not is this you can get swing speed just by swinging a club and not hitting a ball because it's actually measuring swing speed, not calculating it. So that's very important. And uh, this is PRGR. Link in the description below for this, $195. Fantastic deal. Doesn't use an app or anything, just display. That's what you got. We're also looking at the Swing Caddy SC300 launch monitor. It also uses a Doppler radar technology. Nice big uh, display mode. This gets a lot of uh, features, comes with the remote, so you can select your club and everything you want to uh, um, do here. Different features, you can do practice mode, target mode, things like that. It, you can also use this with an app and it kind of gives you ball flight characteristics, um, not side to side, just straight through. We got uh, sw total distance, carry distance, sw uh, swing speed, ball speed, launch angle, apex, and smash factor. It also does spin rate that shows in the app itself, not on the display of the model. And uh, I found that that uh, isn't as accurate as I would want it to be. However, it does kind of give you spin rate but I never use spin rate with this it just it I, doesn't uh, I don't really care so much uh, great feature about this the display is awesome in the bright sunlight you could see it no problem whatsoever all right and uh, this is retailing now I believe in the link using the link in the description below 449 right right in that price range okay so be sure to check that out details below next up Okay, next up is the FlightScope Mevo. This little uh, launch monitor also is uh, using a Doppler radar technology. It is super small, compact, and you have to pair it with your mobile device or smart device to get the numbers that um, it's going to give you. Uh, ball speed, spin rate, carry distance, height, uh, club miles an hour, smash factor, you can adjust it Tons of a little adjustment so you can really customize your layout, what you're looking at in here. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, all kinds of great features you can uh, have displayed on your unit. But uh, you must use a some sort of smart device to pair with your Mevo. And uh, I believe it's selling for $4.99. Link in the video description below. Last but not least. <sighs> Last up is uh, Sky Track. Now this is a more higher end indoor really uh, launch monitor. You can use your uh, iPad smartphone or you can have a projector and project it on a big screen if you want to have that type of setup. This is more like your $2,000 range of a launch monitor and you need like some, well, you don't need, but they, they also have other features that you can add like for $200 a year 
you get the game improvement, which opens up kind of the full potential of the app. And then if you want to sync it with other applications like uh, the World Golf Tour or things like that, uh, and play a ton of courses, depending on if you're iOS or PC user, uh, there's different options for you. And those run about, they have different price points, but I think I pay the World Golf Tour like 100 a year for uh, the courses that they offer. So if you're looking for something like that, link in the video description below. So there you go, that's uh, Sky Track. It's gonna be our uh, final ombre in the battle today. Come on. Okay, so um, hopefully everything is uh, working. I've got everything right now set to a seven iron. Okay, that's where I have to hit from. Everything's set in a good spot. This is connected. Let me select my club here. Okay, so seven iron, let's see what happens here. I'm, I, when I hit a good one, it's 170 carry. That was horrible. Okay, so good. I like to know, does it register horrible? Okay, so here we go. Skytrack gives me 152 carry, which with that poor of a swing, that's probably what happened. Mevo says I carried 166. No, that would have been a good shot. I did not hit a good shot. PRGR said 168. Carry, no, I don't think that's right. And Sweet Caddy gave me 178. Um, I know that wasn't 178. That was a thin, low little guy. So I would say Skytrack on that one was the most accurate. That's a little better than the other one, still a touch thin, okay? So I would say probably a 158 would be my guess, carry. Well, they got 148 on the Skytrack um, Mevo got 160, PRGR got 162 carry, and Swing Caddy got 171. Okay, so I would say probably the me, I don't know, just my feeling the Mevo got that one most accurate. But we'll let's see if I can hit a good one here. Okay, that's good. So I felt like that was kind of a hook. I hooked that one. Let's see if Skytrack actually, yeah, low hook shot which is cool, I like seeing the display and I see that big hook. 144 carry, yeah, it wasn't very good. That said 164 carry from the um, Mevo, 153 PRGR, probably more accurate, and carry 164 swing caddy. We'll do one more of these and then we'll go to the driver. Okay, that was a good solid seven iron. I'm saying, thinking 170 is probably about where that goes in carry numbers. Uh, Skytrack's got a 161 carry, 171 total, okay. And uh, Swing Mevo has 172 carry. Feel like that was probably accurate. PRGR 171 and Swing Caddy 173. So I think those were all pretty good. Let's uh, switch to the driver. And I've got the Maverick Sub-Zero, nine degree. I added a loft so it's 10 degree. All right, everything, everybody ready? A little driver action, here we go. Felt good, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Skytrack got, has me a nice low bullet. It's about as straight as I can hit it. I love that one. Okay, it's got 250 carry. Gave me a swing speed of 99. And uh, PRGR, gave me a 96 club head speed and nothing else. Mevo gave me zero. Okay, so that's not good. And Swing Caddy got everything. 264 carry, 104 speed. I mean, Swing Caddy pretty much always gets everything. I went after that and it has me hooking it pretty good. I don't think, I, I mean, who knows? I felt like it was much better than it looked there, but maybe 227 carry, I doubt it. 104 swing speed. Mevo got uh, 258 carry. It's a little more realistic. No club head speed. PRGR got 257 carry, 96 club head speed. And Swing Caddy got me 106 at 268 carry. Just so you can see the difference. 
obviously, you know, it'd be cool to have like a $20,000 track man here to, you know, compare, but we don't have that. We got what we got. And most of us aren't going to have that. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Thin. PRGR got me 101 club head speed versus 108 on swing caddy. 250 carry here, 253 carry PRGR, 254 Mevo carry. Mevo is just not picking up any swing speed right now. Skytrack is picking it up and it's got, uh... but interestingly, Skytrack's carry numbers are vastly different now with the driver than the other units. And now that we have driver in the hand, it's interesting that Mevo really stopped picking up club head speed. You know, with the, um, with the club I want club head speed the most, it's not, it's picking up this one the least. Let me try a different driver. Maybe it just doesn't like that driver. I've tried it with a, um, a tailor-made sim and it picked it up fine. So it might be the color. Now this is a Titleist TS3. So it might, it's still dark. Felt like that was a fast swing. Yeah, 108 on the swing caddy, 102 on PRGR. What's interesting is that as my swing speed goes up on the swing caddy, it also registers higher on the PRGR. They're about, what, six mile an hour is off. Uh, Mevo did not get any club head speed there unfortunately, and um, Skytrack got 106, so it's picking this up much better. So, if you're indoors exclusively and you wanna set up a nice system in your house with a hitting mat, high impact mat, that kind of thing, and you got the money, I would go with Skytrack just because of all the features. It's expensive, and it does a pretty accurate job most of the time, you know, minus user error. I'm famous for that, but uh, you know, I, I use it a lot and you can play a lot of courses and it's really cool and it's very, very accurate. So if you're just exclusively indoors and you want to spend the money, uh, I, something to consider, okay? Look at that. If most people are just taking it to the course, putting it down at the range or hitting just into a net, so then you've got a lot of options out there even beyond these guys. The SC300 for about 450 bucks, the Mevo for about 500 bucks, and then this PRGR for $200, under $200, $195. And then if I had to rank these in order, well, I mean, if I'm going indoors, this is the one I'm getting. Now, Flightscope makes a model that will compete with this, but I haven't tried it out, so I don't know. But uh, once you um, get this going, it's really, really fun to use. So that's top of the list. Of these three, I mean, if I had to pick one, I would go with the SC300. If I wanted one budget one, and if I had to choose between these two, honestly, if I had to choose between these two, I'd go with the PRGR. Just because of the features that it has and the consistency of it, I would, I would spend 200 before I'd spend 500. So this would be the top of the list for me. Anyways, hope this video helped. Maybe decide which way you're going. There's, a, there's other models out there too. I haven't tested all of them, but these are a few to check out, to consider, to look at, to ponder. So anyways, hope it's... Hope it's helpful. Love you guys. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video.